so we have clients from all over the world who, who digitize their content and uh, send us the data to our offices wherever we have them. You can call them collection centers, for lack of a better word. Or they send it to us directly here. And then these files are uploaded into our servers and we go about a regular process. It's a production process. It's quite a well uh, streamlined production process. Uh, goes through estimation, evaluation, estimation, and finally the process of cleaning up. QC, QA, and the final deliveries. The data then gets either uploaded back to the client servers or through our servers, or it's backed up and uh, exported out uh, as hard disks or LTO cartridges. So that's typically what happens in the restoration process. We've done quite a few, uh, I can remember only the old ones, which I was a part of. Titles like Lawrence of Arabia, Singing in the Rain, and a few others like Red Shoes, My Fair Lady, some works that I remember that I was a part of the restoration department at that time. If you look at the prestigious uh, Indian government's initiative, the National Film Archive, they've done a brilliant job. It's a very large restoration tender they've issued. And we were uh, one of the three uh, companies to have won the bid. And the work should start in the next few weeks, if not months. So we're looking forward to that project. That's a big project. A lot of films that belong to the Indian cinema industry are being digitized, preserved and restored only for cultural preservation, not for monetization, not to make money, but just to preserve. You have two sectors clearly now, clearly defined. One is the, uh, the government initiatives of various governments from around the world for preservation, cultural preservation. And two is the OTT segment. That's growing. That's growing as well. Regardless of, of the original content on OTT being, being very, uh, very sought after and high profile and a lot of money being spent, I think there is a space for these uh, cinema, uh, traditional cinema uh, content as well especially with with the newer generation OTT platforms. Uh, I don't want to go into f too much details, but you have the Netflixes of the world and the Amazons and the Zs and all that. that they all come under one category. Then you, you will have a second and a third level of OTT platforms. They will all be coming up soon. See, what happens typically is in any new technology segmentation will happen. Today, not enough segmentation is happening uh, in this space and it's bound to happen. So when it happens again, specific content will be needed. So, uh, so we expect a lot of uh, uptake on, on good restored content for these, uh, for these smaller OTT platforms as well coming.